If you're tired of being glued to your screens all day long, trying to find setups on multiple markets or looking at a lot of different charts with different indicators on it, and you're a new trader and wondered if there's an easier way within the Ninja Trader platform to automate this sort of process, right? Just to free up some of your time so you don't have to be glued to the screens all day long, right? Well, there is a feature in the Ninja Trader 8 platform. So this uh, video will go through some of the basic features of the market analyzer window and how it can be useful to free up some of your screen time. All right, so first thing you want to do is go over here to the new button in the control panel. I'm already connected to my data feed. You want to go and click on that new button and you want to head on over here to the market analyzer. Click on that, a new window will automatically pop up. Right, so it will be blank when you actually open this for the first time. Again, make sure that you are connected to your data feed and you'll be presented with a few different columns. First off, I think by default you'll have the instrument column. We have an ask price, bid price, and as well as a last price. Right, so I have never changed any of these defaults on the actual columns. So you'll probably be presented with the same window right with these pre-built default columns so first thing you want to do is obviously let's say you want to load the nasdaq the es maybe crude oil and gold you want to go ahead and right click anywhere on this window go on over to instruments and this is where you can then add under the instrument column all of the different instruments or markets that you want to be following let's for example say we want to look at the es Let's say we want to pull in data for the NASDAQ as well. And just for just sake, let's do crude oil as well. All right. So as soon as you've done that, you'll automatically see, although you don't even need to have these charts open, that your data feed will then pull into the market analyzer the bid and ask price in real time, as well as the last price for all of these instruments. All right, so but you can obviously go much further than this. And to do that, you can go right click on anywhere again on the screen. Go ahead and go to columns, right? And here under columns, you'll have a multitude of different uh, options that you can basically add to these columns, right? So what is currently configured is your bid and ask price. You have the last price again, the default features, but you can really go nuts in this pretty much. And you can add indicators there, some of the indicators that you might want to be following. For example, go on down to I indicator, double click on it. And here under the indicator side, you need to go and select the indicator that you want to have shown up in, in its own column. And you can go change it by default, it's going to be the ADL. You can go change it to whatever you want to and go through this list and configure it. You can even configure it to look at a one minute time frame, whatever time frame you want to. You can create another column with the same indicator and just think, change the time frame, especially if you use multiple time frame analysis in your trading. All right, let's say just for interest sake, we want to, there's even a lot of uh, options available for stock traders um let's for example pull in which is a good one to look at you can look at the daily high maybe what was the daily high double click on it hit okay new column will form over there you see that adl's actually also on a one minute got his own um column uh, drawing in that data right you can also go further and for example uh, you can go right click on here again go to your columns and all of these ones that's already configured over here you can go change for example different colors on the backgrounds for these uh, columns um, which can be really helpful if you want different signals to show up for example maybe a buy signal or sell signal according to what that indicator is doing for the sake of this video, you can really go deep into this. So I'm just trying to really give you some of the basic functions of the actual uh, market analyzer for you to start playing around with. Right, and then if you want to remove any of these cells, you can just go ahead and click remove. 
I'm going to leave it on like that. You can also, let's say, click on one of these cells or uh, rows and you can move it around if you want to swap them around. So it's really easy to do it in that uh, market analyzer window. The other thing is, for example, let's say you follow crypto, forex and some of the features markets and you want to then go and put a label uh, to s above one of the markets or the multitude of markets that you're following that let's say fall under the crypto sector or stock sector or the future sector you can also do that by simply right clicking anyway and just go and go ahead and select add label row you want to double click on that and let's say we want to call this futures and hit enter now let's say i wanted to add more instruments and this time let's say i follow stocks if i have data for it right or you want to follow um crypto markets then you can also go and list them there do the same thing and label that row so that you very quickly can see following multiple markets multiple time frames uh, indicator conditions whatever the case might be and you can also then uh, see for whatever sector or what different uh, markets like for the crypto market uh, futures market the stock markets what they are doing so you can very quickly uh, on the fly um, separate them so you can visually nicely customize your market analyzer the way you want to you can even right click on here for example uh, go to properties let's say i want to change the background of this to something different you go here to your color selector under the properties and let's say we change that the label row which we call that a label it's currently set to transparent let's say i want to make it blue hit ok and it would now be blue just so it stands out a little bit so so much things you can do to basically customize the market analyzer to your own liking now very quickly uh show you some bit more of a uh advanced features that uh, we've done here at ninja caters um, i quickly want to go back and open a new market analyzer again left click new go to market analyzer and if i right click anyway over here and go to my columns then you'll see we got quite a few pre-built um scanners as we call them here at ninja caters built in here already for example uh, if i open that folder the one i really like trading with uh, is the cup and handle scanner we got a pattern scanner as well we got elliott wave scanners the one i really like using as a volume spread scalper for example i'm just going to demo for you quickly to see how advanced the scan actually get right so i'm just going to use that um, and leave that column because it's going to create a new column with its default settings and with these default settings you can go and look at whatever time frame you want to it's for explanational purposes i'm going to go and hit ok on the one minute time frame and obviously i need to add an instrument let's again go crude see if we can actually get a signal to populate quickly nasdaq and let's say the es you can see these cells are actually um, under these columns are now different colors uh, with the volume spread scalper it's just basically indicator looks at imbalances in volume for whatever time frame you want to look at and they create these signals that potentially <clears throat> could be trading opportunities all right so these red cells were selling opportunities and what i could do for example already got this indicated loaded it's just not visible at the moment here on the nasdaq um, i just want to make it visible quickly and hit ok give that a little while to load and this is the actual volume spread indicator nice little signal here for example where it said the signal or stop loss should be 33 ticks wide so the idea of this video is not to talk too much about indicators but uh, i think the gist of this is to show you that a signal did occur um there was a nice shorting opportunity over here and as soon as that signal would have fired off in this case on the nasdaq i would have had my market analyzer basically um show me that signal like immediately in real time 
Um, I can also go and set alerts, send me emails. Um, we can have a pop-up noise alerts on your desktop, wherever the case might be, so that you don't have to be stuck to your screen the whole time, right? You can get tired, lose focus, whatever the case might be. So the market analyzer really like, you know, gives you a bit of that freedom to you know, maybe do something else in the meantime. Um, and then once you get a signal for that specific uh, criteria, in this case, looking at volume spread analysis, you'll have a signal fire off. And in this case, immediately, you can then go across to that corresponding instrument time frame whatever the case you used for to program that signal and go and trade it if you wanted to all right so this is just an example using the volume spread scalper this one actually that just occurred on the es let's quickly go on over to the es over here give it a little while to calculate and you'll see that there was a buy imbalance that just occurred here on the es while i was talking a little while ago you've seen that that cell actually uh, fired green there and these numbers mean different things that's basically means it's a two candle uh, so, sorry two tick range uh, setup as well as this number here showing that it occurred two candles back in this case looking at a one minute time frame so it'll be two minutes back that this actual signal has fired off right so this one gave me a little bit of buy signal and it is looking like it wants to break out to the upside so again I didn't have to go and actually have that chart open uh, as long as you got your data feed connected and you then bring in that indicator you have to have that indicator obviously installed on your computer you can basically just let the market analyzer run when you get a signal on multiple time frames uh, multiple instruments just go to the corresponding chart and see if you want to trade it before I finish this video, it's also worth noting that it's really important to always go and save your uh, market analyzer, especially if you worked it and customized it as a template. And you can always just right click anywhere there, go to templates, and you can save that as a template, any name that you want to give it. Maybe you have different types of um, templates doing different things. You can go ahead and do that, especially let's say you get a power outage or something like that. It's always a good habit to save your uh, your templates not just in the market analyzer but chart templates and all that stuff like regularly so you don't lose that all right thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to find out more about how we use the market analyzer scanner over here at ninjacaders.com or you want to get your hands on all of the different indicators we have on offer then please click the link in the description and consider joining our ninjacaders fast track program thanks for watching and i'll see you on the inside take care and goodbye